the TRX fallout with the push-up. This is a very challenging core exercise and upper body exercise. And the first step is finding your TRX at a proper height. Again, everyone's setup is gonna be a little bit different. In this case, I have a cable machine where I can anchor this guy. You may have a door, you may have a squat rack, so it really depends on what you have at home, what you have at your gym. So the position of the TRX is gonna be different for everyone. The first step, once you find your height of the TRX and where it feels comfortable with the handles, we're gonna set up onto our toes like we're about to do a regular you know, TRX push-up. But as we go down into our uh, push-up, we're gonna reach one arm out, so it's almost like a fallout, and then back up, and then we're gonna alternate to the other side. So we're incorporating the TRX fallout with the TRX push-up as we go through. If this feels too easy, because the higher up you go, the easier it is, the lower you go, the more challenging it is to get back up. Another thing to note is as we do this, you want the TRX straps not to be against your arms, because when we do that, it's gonna start rubbing on the skin and it's not gonna feel that great. So you want to think of having a little bit of room, and this is why it's challenging, because now we're taking our kind of center of mass further away, and now we have to engage your core a little bit more. And as we come down, you want to still have that room. And again, that's gonna make it more challenging to keep that position where this, you can actually lean into it and cheat. This is the position you wanna get. Back up, alternate, and that is our TRX standing fallout with a push-up.